went out in scene three, and this is the murder scene at Banquo, uh, a very dark scene, of course, but the first thing to notice is that there are three murderers, and the other two murderers are kind of appalled by this. Why did you send somebody, why did you come to join us? And the third murderer says, Macbeth sent me to make sure you did the job right, because he doesn't consider you to be competent. But the three murderers then take on the same persona as the three witches. We get triune imagery here again by the addition of this third murderer, uh, the confirmation almost of, of that triune imagery. And I like to think that it's a, it's a trope, it's a, it's a, um, a dark trope or parody of the, of, the, of the Trinitarian image. Anyway, they set about to kill Banquo and his son Fleance. And when Banquo appears on the scene, he's already having a conversation with uh, Fleance, his son. And he says this brief line, it will be rain tonight. And the first murderer says, let it come down. And they attack him at that moment. I think that's an important little detail to the play, that when Banquo is noticing there be rain, Banquo's always looking up in the play, if you notice. He says there's husbandry in heaven, for instance. He's looking up when, when, he's, when he's describing the, uh, the, 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 the murder scene uh, of Duncan. Uh, he's looking up later on when he is saying, I, thou hast it now, uh, that he says in the beginning of this act. So he's always looking upwards, towards the heavens. You could show Beth as almost always looking downward, too, as a sort of an opposite to Banquo, as a foil to Banquo. But Banquo's looking up and says, there's going to be rain tonight because it's so dark, early, dark. And the first murder says, then let it come down, let the rain fall down upon you, which is a great line for attacking him. And there's this fight scene on stage, and Banquo realizes that he's outnumbered and he's going to be killed, and he sends his son off. And Fleance, of course, escapes the murderers. And uh, they say, we have lost best half of our affair because we've lost the heir to the sequence of uh, kings that the, that the witches prophesy. But at least they've killed Banquo. And then they take that back to Macbeth and they present him with that news at the, uh, at the banquet scene, which we get next, the very famous banquet scene uh, in the hall in the, in the palace. Let's look at that text together. <laughs> 